And just like that, we are back with a very merry, ashy, is that what I call it? And we're back with a very ashy Christmas. That's our Vlogmas like title, slogan, whatever you want to call it. I couldn't think of anything else. I was struggling. Okay, so that's all I could think of. Today is Vlogmas day two, but today's video is going to be short but sweet. I asked you guys in my previous video to give me ideas for Vlogmas and one of the responses that I got was to do a ranking of my favorite active wear and I was like, that was a bomb idea. That was, okay, thank you. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, but I put a little spin on it because I'm going to the gym this morning and I need to do my hair because I look kind of rough and you're probably like, girl, that does not look bad, but mm -mm. So we're gonna do my hair today on camera and I'm gonna rank my top five fitness brands. I feel like I have five and if I don't, then I'll just stop wherever I run out. So maybe three, <laughs> okay? Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So what I do first with my hair is I basically like run my fingers through it because I put bobby pins in my hair and I really need to take them out um, so that I can brush it. But I love to do my tried and true bun, which is my little sleek back bun. I love that bun so much. It's so convenient. It takes me five minutes or less to do. And yeah, it doesn't require a lot of products. So my hair before I head to the gym because I don't wear my hair like this, I'm over it. So I feel like the question of my favorite activewear brand is like a setup. It really has to be because <laughs> I think it's funny that I don't mind coming on camera and embarrassing myself. But like you guys, I look kind of crazy and I don't really care. But yes, so this question is basically like a little setup because I feel like it's hard to pick between your favorite brands. Like, I love them all. Um, and I think my first one's actually gonna surprise you because I don't do a lot of videos on it due to the price point of it, but it's one of my favorites. It's like if we're talking about quality and customer service, top tier, just saying. So for my first brand that I love, like number one ranking is Lululemon. I know. I don't do a lot of videos on them and if you want to see more videos on Lululemon products any of that let me know by giving this video a thumbs up I just didn't think that you guys would want to see them because they are fairly expensive so let me know by giving the video a thumbs up if you want to see more Lululemon hauls but yeah so that's my top brand I just feel like the quality is top tier you can get things hemmed and the customer service is phenomenal and the quality is a one so if you haven't invested in a pair of leggings it is a very very high price but it literally is so worth it. Like Lululemon Align, like no other legging could ever feel like Lululemon Aligns. Top it, match it, like, I don't know how I'm gonna talk and brush my hair, I just, it's hard. So the next brand is probably the brand that you thought would have been my number one, and that is Gymshark. The only reason Gymshark is not number one is again because Lululemon's designs and product and quality surpasses Gymshark's in my opinion. Now for what it's for, Gymshark is more of like, but I feel like fabric quality, like they're a beautiful price point. Their quality is great, it's thick, it's vibrant, but I don't know, to me it just doesn't top Lululemon. I, I can't, I can't tell you the untruth about that, I can't. But that would be my top two brand. And it's really because of the price and the quality of their pieces. And I feel like shipping, amazing. Even on launch days, you get your product super fast. It's just so worth it to me. They have amazing prints. And it's funny because what they release one time could be the same thing in the next launch but a different color, but their branding and the quality is so good that you just wanna buy more. And the price point again is very beautiful. It's in that middle range between like 60 to $70 for like a pair of leggings. Second brand, second top favorite brand, Gymshark all the way. Okay, just saying. But um, I've added water as you saw and now I'm brushing it and I'm adding gel as I'm brushing my hair to slick it down a little bit. Um, my hair wasn't really, really dirty or like unmanageable so it's not really hard to do right now. But if my hair was like really dry and brittle, it would not have laid down as easy. But on to my top three brand. Um, for me, that brand, this may be shocking. This may be shocking, is Women's Best. I know. I no, you guys I trust me I know I just bought from them in my last video or one of my last videos so I'll pop it up if you haven't seen it because their price point their price point is like dead on it's dead on it's I feel like I was asleep for a very long time and that brand just woke me up for a pair of leggings is like $40 or less shorts $30 or less they have a lot of sales the quality is bomb it's lightweight 
airy but it's form fitting but it has that compression a slight little hold and then the booty contour slash little cuff like the fabric cuffs under your butt to make it look extra plump and if you don't believe me go check out that last one best review because y'all okay it's the proof is the proof is in the pudding have you seen it go watch it because bomb and i feel like this is an awkward angle to be holding my arm and talking <laughs> we're a hot mess we're a hot mess so yes if you're looking for a more affordable um workout brand that has bomb clothing but don't get a lot of recognition and you really just want something that's cute but decently priced but amazing fit and fabric women's best i'm not kidding women's best is the bomb like i don't know where i've been but they're my top three like they're number three for me okay guys so as you can see i was able to slick my hair back in a bun i'm not technically finished yet as you saw i was brushing it down still i took a little intermission to continue brushing it down because it's hard to talk and brush your hair at the same time and i also feel like this mic may be picking up on the brush noise i don't know so we will see but i'm after i brush it and put it back with some little hair ties that don't damage your hair then i was putting some bobby pins in it to secure it because my hair is still like because some of my hair is still longer than other parts so it wasn't like staying right here like behind my ear but we're gonna go ahead and finish rating these brands finish my hair so i can get to the gym okay because homegirl is ready to go so my fourth ranked brand which in no way means that these brands are horrible just because they're at the bottom it's just my favorites they're all great quality because i purchased from all of them so nobody is better than the other well you know what I mean. They're all good brands. But for fourth, I would have to have Nasty Fit. I feel like it wasn't like a high enough for me because I feel like they don't have that many designs yet. But what they do have is amazing. They don't offer enough variety yet for me to make them a top three brand in my opinion. They are still a beginning business so that isn't a negative at all. I just want more variety. The quality is still amazing and the snatch of those items, they so Nasty Fit is number four for me. My fifth one is not because the brand is bad at all, it's just because to me, I feel like their items are very hit or miss, and that's Athlete. So I do have a couple of Athlete pieces in my collection, but they're not my go-to pieces. I know. If you're not a Gymshark girl, you're usually an Athlete girl. I'm an all-around-the-world girl, okay? I love all brands. All Like, I want to try everything because I want to know what truly is best for me. I can order one thing from the same collection with the same fabric, and I might not like it. Same size and everything. And I'm like, I don't like this. But then I order something different and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. So that happens a lot to me in my opinion with a brand I've ordered maybe three or four times. And I loved what I got, but I didn't love it enough. Like I barely wear it. I don't even know where it is, if we're being honest. So okay guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed it thank you for requesting this video topic because i actually really enjoyed ranking my favorite activewear don't forget that we're gonna have videos every single day of december so don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos and don't forget we're gonna have a surprise coming up soon a big announcement for our channel thank you guys so much for all of your support i love you guys so much thank you for over 300 subscribers it means the world to me i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys